It is good to see you, Greg. Tell me what these texts reveal about the pressure, the extreme pressure campaign on GOP senators after the 2020 election. Well, they offer a unique behind the scenes glimpse at all the pressure that Senator, then Senator Kelly Leffler faced from other Republicans, from activists, from allies, even from within her own staff to take steps to convince Donald Trump that she was on his team, that she would be doing, willing to do anything it took um, to stand with him and try to reverse Georgia's election outcome, even if that meant blocking the certification of Joe Biden's victory on that January 6th day. And she agreed to do that in a rally that Donald Trump headlined for her um, shortly before the election, hours before the election, and then immediately started having second thoughts about it as protesters, as demonstrators, as the pro-Trump mob, I should say, stormed the U.S. Capitol while she was in there. Your sense of what Leffler, what Cipollone might have shared with this grand jury? Well, for Senator Leffler, it, you know, it's just she, she could share that behind-the-scenes information, that, that intelligence of all the pressure she faced, um, of what it was like to be a U.S. senator, um, you know, worried about her own election fate at the same time, worried about Donald Trump withholding his support potentially if she didn't take steps that he wanted her to take. And, you know, all that sort of communication back and forth that might have gone on, you know, not just text messages, but verbal communications as well. And for Cipollone, he was the top White House lawyer at the end of the Trump administration, and he attended some, some of those key meetings where Trump and his allies discussed ways to subvert the election results. So his testimony could also be very important. So I, I got to say, Greg, we're, we're coming off of having talked about 1-6, having talked about um, Mar-a-Lago, having talked about the case out of New York. The Fulton County DA plans to wrap up her investigation before the end of the year, so you layer that on. Which witnesses or charges are you expecting next? We'll see. I mean, so the so the way this process works is the Fulton, the, the special grand jury will recommend charges. They can't formally indict anyone, but they can recommend that the DA then take action. So we could see action early next year, um, but this, this investigation is taking somewhat of a pause right now amid the midterm elections, which are hot here in Georgia, as well as other parts of the country, then they're going to go back to it by the end of the year. Um, so I expect I expect some sort of formal um, recommendation in the in the coming months.